Hi, and welcome to the fourth episode of Educational Screencast. I'm your guide, uh, Paul Anderson. If you want to follow me on Twitter, that's at Paul Anderson. And if you want to find me on the internet, a uh, great place to look is at theboldstandard.com. Um, this is episode four, and in episode four, I'm going to highlight a piece of software called Scratch. Um, and if you haven't heard of it, um, you should have. It's really, really cool. Um, to learn a little bit more about Scratch, you should go here to scratch.mit.edu. Uh, tell, let me tell you a little bit about the history of uh, Scratch. Um, Scratch was, was developed at the MIT Media Laboratory, um, but the roots of it go farther back. This is Seymour Papert right here. Uh, he was a mathematician who thought that kids could learn better if they used computers. And so he wrote a, a programming language called Logo. And I used to play Logo when I was a little kid. I'm sure a lot of you did as well. Uh, the way it would work is you would give, have this little turtle, and the turtle was a little triangle. And you would tell the triangle to do things like to turn right. And that means a 90 degree angle to go forward 100 steps to turn right 90 degree angle to go forward 100 steps. And so you could get these really complex pictures um, with just simple uh, directions like that. Um, he went on to develop some other things like Lego Mindstorms. I'm sure you're uh, familiar with that. Um, I, he was a big part of that and I think he worked with the one laptop ch per child uh, as well. So that's Seymour Papert. And so if we fast forward a little bit, um, the web 2.0 version of Logo is Scratch. That's the best way to think about what it is. Um, if you go to scratch.mit.edu, you'll see over here that you can download Scratch. And so if you click right here, it'll give you a download link. Uh, you could put information about yourself. Um, they tell you to skip that email if you're under 13. But if also, if you look down at the bottom, if you don't want to put any information in there or you have students who are doing this, they can click here and it brings you right to that Scratch download page. Um, you can download this for Mac. Um, Windows, uh, there's no Linux version, but it's totally free, and so it costs nothing. But you will have to download that, um, so there's a desktop application that you're going to use with Scratch. Let me kind of fire that up for a second. Okay, uh, this is what Scratch looks like, uh, and this is the Scratch cat right here. You can change the icon or make it anything else, but think of that as like the turtle. And so I can put him right here, and if I click the go uh, flag, Nothing happens, and that's because I haven't given him any directions. If you've done any programming with Mindstorms, this will kind of look familiar. And so maybe I want him to do something. And so I could click on Controls here, and when that flag is clicked, maybe I want him to move. And so I could have him move, for example, um, 10 steps. And so now if I click the flag, then he moves 10 steps. If I click the flag again, he moves 10 steps. And you can see over here that when I click that flag, it actually shows me uh, what's kind of running. And so this is programming, but it's programming that's really easy. Uh, you don't have to know anything about programming language. Everything just kind of clicks together. And so that's not very exciting. So let me get rid of this. Uh, let's kind of make it a little better. Um, so maybe I want it to be when the space key is pressed. Um, he moves 10 steps forward. Okay, now I click it to run, and now if I click the space bar, he's gonna go forward. But let's even change that a little bit. Let's say that I want to, if the right arrow gets clicked, he's gonna move 10 steps. Uh, but maybe I want a different control where when the left arrow is clicked, he moves, uh, let's see, how could we do that? Let's make that. Uh, negative 10. I don't know if we can do negative 10 steps, but let's try that. And so now if I click the right arrow, he goes to the right. If I click the left arrow, he goes to the left. Now that's pretty simple, um, but you can do some really cool things. And so let me add the sensing uh, icon over here, and I could bring something like loudness. So maybe I want to measure the loudness. So I click on here, it now shows up, and you can see that in my application, the louder I make it, um, my voice, the louder uh, it reads on here. And so I could do something cool in my program. So let's uh, say when this is clicked, we could maybe have him point in the direction. And uh, let's make him point in the direction of the loudness of my voice. And so let's try that. So if I click this now, 
Uh, he pointed in that direction, but if you know anything about programming, that was not very exciting. So let's flip something in here. Let's add a forever. So that's kind of like adding a loop. And so I could do this over and over again. And now let's run it. And so now, the louder my voice is, uh, the farther he turns. And so I could control where he's going just with my voice and my screaming. So that's kind of cool. Uh, how intense can this get? Uh, if I click on open, uh, I'm not going to save this. There's some examples of games that come along with it. And so somebody's developed a Pong game, and you can just play Pong like this. Nice. It also shows you, oh man, uh, the directions, or excuse me, the programming over here on the side. And that's pretty cool. So it's fun. Kids will love this. Nice thing about it, it was when you're done, you can click on share and you can set up an account on Scratch. And if you put your account name in and your password, it will upload your game to the Scratch website where other people can play it. And this is where it gets really, really cool and gets kind of web 2.0. And so I'm going to quit out of Scratch here. And so let me show you how this works. And so what you're looking at then when you, when you log into Scratch is all the current games or programs that have been uploaded by students. Okay, I'm, I'm here at the MIT site. And so these are all projects that have been uploaded. Um, it shows them uh, ranked by different uh, category. It'll have the ones that are most loved or the ones that are most viewed. Um, but I'm most interested in, in stuff that I've done. And so let me get to my account. So here's my account. There's my eyes right there. I've got some friends. And so you kind of get this social environment. And one of my friends would be uh, my daughter. And so my daughter, who is uh, 10, has uh, made a few things on here. So this was a game I was looking at earlier. I didn't really know that she'd done this. Um, this is called Wild Lion on the Loose, uh, or on the Loose. <laughs> and so I can move the lion back and forth with the controls, and then I can eat the girl. <laughs> and then if I get to the end, it says push up, and you win. And so I think that's kind of cute. Uh, so let me go back again. This is my son's account, and I've got some other... Uh, like my nephews are on here as well. Um, this is a game he made called Brick. Um, and you can see that it is uh, like that old Brick game. Uh, and you can see that he kind of based it on that Pong game, but uh, you can build up levels like that. Oh man, I'm addicted to video games and so it's hard for me to stop as we go through this. Now you can see down on, on the bottom that it's been viewed 30 times. One person loved it and then one tagged it and then he's got some comments and feedback on it. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, if we go back again, uh, you can see he's done like a Guitar Hero game. He's quickly got way better than I did at this. Um, but that's what Scratch is. And so it's got that neat idea where you can do programming and uh, use the computer to kind of think about logic. Uh, I find that we don't do much programming in schools anymore, which I don't really understand because we're using computers more than we ever have. Uh, but we've kind of uh, left that to the side. And I think there's some logic that can be found in there that's really, really cool. Um, there's a lot of educational stuff in here. I actually use this in my physical science class. We were talking about uh, Newton's laws of motion, and I had them develop a little uh, simulation for that, and they loved it. Um, they really loved it, especially this idea of let's upload it, and then they can play each other's when you're done. Um, this is a game that I'm most proud of. Uh, it looks like I uploaded this about 11 months ago, and so this is my asteroids type game called uh, Spaceballs. And so if you want to log on to MIT, excuse me, scratch.mit.edu, uh, you could play my game. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can get two. Look, there's a double. And so that's what Scratch is. Again, it's a way to uh, make things and then share them with the world. I hope you have a great day, and I'll be here defending the universe.